All right, today's video is going to be on the absolute min and max problems. So we're actually going to find the absolute minimum and the absolute maximum value of a given function. And that given function is going to be f of x equal to 12 plus 4x minus x squared. All right, and that's going to be on the closed interval between 0 and 5. And that's going to be x equal to ab, by the way. So that's going to be some function f of x. I'm not really sure how that's going to look unless we were to graph that. I'm not going to worry about that. It's going to be some interval a equals 0, and b is equal to 5, x. That's just going to be some function. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the absolute minimum and absolute maximum values of that function, so the highest and lowest points. Alright, so in order to do that, like we've done any other time, we need to find our critical points. As we did in the last video, we're going to find when the derivative is equal to zero. So the derivative of x, with respect to x, we're taking 12 plus 4x minus x squared, it's going to be 0, because the derivative of any constant is 0, plus 4, minus 2x. Okay. Now, we're going to let that equal 0, and we're going to see that we're going to have 4 is equal to 2x. It's going to give us x equal to 2. So that's going to be our critical point. And this makes sense, because actually, if you look at what our function is, so go back up to here. Our original function is actually a parabola. So it's going to be something like that. And right around x equals 2 is going to be where that critical point exists. So this makes sense. So now we have three points. We're going to have 0, 2, and 5. Because remember our boundaries. So, we take these and we plug these back into our original function that we had. So, f equal to 0. It's going to be 12 plus 4 times 0 minus 0 squared. It's going to equal 12. f of 2 is going to equal 12 plus 4 times 2 minus 2 squared. And that's going to equal. 16. F of 5 is going to equal 12 plus 4 times 5 minus oh, 25, I meant to say 5 squared. And that's going to equal 7. So it's pretty obvious that this is our highest and this is our lowest. Therefore, that is our maximum value. And this is our absolute minimum value. And that is how you solve for the absolute minimum maxes.